Right then, lads and lasses, here's a wee bit of magic brought to you by your old friend Uncle Jay, all right? This trick, you know, it's all about jacking. We all love a good jack. I love a good jack, you love a good jack. Couple of jacks, couple of jacks. In this case, we got the jack of spades and the jack of clubs. Now these two have been known to get into a wee bit of trouble, so let's do this. I'm gonna put a, a rubber band, a little rubber band around the jacks. And Chris, I need your help here. Hold out one of your fingers. We're gonna try a little something here, okay? I'm gonna leave the jacks right here on top of the deck. I'm gonna spread out the cards. You touch one, all right, come on back here. My brother Christopher just touched a little card in the middle. Gonna give you a little peek at it, at the camera. I don't wanna see it. A little peek, pop that sucker back in. Keep an eye on the two jacks. Watch what happens. No sleight of hand, nothing tricky, nothing with a wee bit of the Loch Ness monster who happens to have a huge chubber. Look, gonna make the selected card melt upwards by singing a wee little song quite popular in my homeland. Here we go. Too high to get over, yeah, yeah. Too low to get under, yeah, yeah. You're stuck in the middle, yeah, yeah. Boom, just like that. Look, look. Nothing tricky. Nothing tricky. It's the name of my, my old band, Nothing Tricky. Rubber band, two jacks. Wait one goddamn moment. We got a card right between the jacks, and that card was Christopher's card. Oh, that's so impressive. I could not have believed that that would have happened. Oh, my, 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 my pants are filled with a kind of a magic pudding. If you've been doing card magic, even for, I don't know, probably six minutes, you have come across the plot, the theme, the idea, the effect of the sandwich trick. And the sandwich trick is very, very old. And the funny thing is it involves no bread, no cheese, no mayonnaise, no meat just two cards, but the sandwich idea is that two cards, a pair of cards, find a selected card, thus creating <laughs> the meat uh, sandwich, okay? So this is, uh, I've come up with probably five or 10 different handlings over the years. They're kind of original and have their virtues. This is a neat one because the card actually starts, uh, we won't use a jack, that'll confuse things, and a queen. Is there a non-face card here? What do we got? Two clubs. What's kind of neat is that the two actually starts between the jacks when the rubber band, it's already there from the beginning. My thinking was, wouldn't it be cool if the card actually started there and you somehow had that card selected so you wouldn't have to sneak it between them because it was there the entire time. So how do we get into that position? Pretty simple. The deck can be shuffled, okay, shuffle deck, and let's say the two are gonna use it for now, but it can be any card you want. And you can go through the cards and take out the two jacks, okay? Boom, gone through the two jacks and say, look, I'm gonna show you something here with the jack of spades and the jack of clubs, and you show it very fairly. Now, right like that, I've secretly loaded my two, or any card that was on top, between the two jacks, okay? It is there. And the way we did this, very simple technique, is well, I'm sort of showing the two jacks here, my left thumb pushes off the top card and pulls it back, and I hold a little break with my pinky. We've, come, we've talked about this sort of stuff before on my channel. So I take these two and I put them on top, then I'm gonna lift all three, so the two jacks and the face down card. And I just slip off with my thumb the upper jack, then put it below, very casual way of showing the two jacks and everything's very fair, turn this over. It looks totally fair, but just like that, I've loaded that face down card between the two jacks. Then I take a rubber band, and what you want is a small, I apologize, I grabbed uh, some at home this morning on the way to the studio, and this is actually a little loose. It's fine, but it would be better if it's even tighter. Okay, tighter the band, the better. We've all heard that. Drunk sailors love to sing about such things. You're here now. I want to make it look like I'm just showing the jacks, putting them on top, and then pulling back slightly and spreading out the cards to have someone touch a card. That's what I want it to look like, okay? And you can create that exact illusion, but what I'm going to do is this, is I show, and as I put these over, my thumb is going to push, I just push forward, just push forward, just like that. I'm gonna push forward the bottom two cards. Now at this point, this would of course reveal my setup. But if I do it and now push forward and slide back the top jack and the bottom jack, I slide them both back and square them, what my situation now is this. Jack, jack, and the two sticking out slightly. But it looks exactly like it's just the, the two banded jacks sitting on top of the deck. That's what it looks like. So when I spread out the cards, everything looks as it should. You can have any card touched, kind of cool. 
out jog that card. Now we're going to use a move that I've taught on this channel called the topper, based on a Frank, I Frank Garcia idea called topper. I want it to look like I turn over the card. The jacks are still up on top there. Maybe I can put my thumb if I want. Um, I want it to look like I turn and show the one card they're thinking of. But what I do is as I turn over, I push this one flush into the pack and my thumb drags the top one off the top here. So the card they actually see, and let me do it once for you in performance speed. And this is the kind of thing, I mean, YouTube's a funny beast. The camera's locked off, the sound, studio's soundless. There's no distractions. In real live performance, this is the kind of move, and I'm gonna do it right now, that flies just fine. You show the card, and then I pretend to square it back in. So you're here. Now what I'm gonna do is square these two jacks. I just slide them forward, slide them forward, and lift everything off. So they touched any card in the pack. They took a quick peek at it. No sleight of hand. The slights were done very early. The jacks are still beautifully banded. Everything's cool. So now you can have someone put it in their hand, or you could have someone fold this up and jam it down some poor sucker's throat. Whatever. Uh, under uh, Somebody could be under a bunch of hands on top. And then you could take the deck if you want and bang it underneath the table. Like this. Come back up. Show the cards gone here. And when people, and don't take off the rubber band. First show, I mean, this, people just don't even know what to do with that. That makes no sense. They were banded from the beginning. The fact that any card appeared there is cool, but the fact that it's actually the card they touched makes it magic.